Welcome to High Felicia High Felicia, High Felicia Welcome back to High Felicia Felicia's already laughing Mom, I know you'll never get used to our theme song No, I won't There's a few things happening today that are different and unique We are testing out a few technical things And today we are wearing headphones Which... I don't love so much. You're going to get used to it, and okay. there's reasons. I'm sure. <laughs> what they are, it doesn't matter. You're right. But mom, how are you? I'm fine. You're fine. N- nervous. You're ner- so am I in a weird way. I don't so, know why I'm always I don't so know. nervous. I know. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So for the first time, we are recording in the morning because we've been pulling all-nighters for edits, and we don't want to pull all-nighters anymore, so we're trying new things. So we'll see how this goes. But I want to start off with something that we didn't do like Insta stories about to recap the Emmys. Emmys, old news. You're looking, Felicia just gave me a look like, oh shit, that was so long ago. I don't even remember the Emmys. However, I do remember some of it and I thought it was fabulous. I think it was like the best award show I've ever seen. And all my friends thought it was fabulous also, or the people I spoke to. I'm happy that your friends watched it because the reviews were great, but the ratings weren't because they went up against the NFL. They went up against football. Oh. Huge. The best is the guy from It's Always Sunny. There's a picture of the guy from It's Always uh, Sunny in Philadelphia. And he's looking at his phone. And he's looking at the phone for the game. Yeah. But I do want to just say a, a few things about the Emmys. Can we just give a moment to praise Miss Christina Applegate? Oh, my God. Absolutely. I actually almost cried also. I feel like you might cry right now. Are you going to cry? No, no, no. I think she's going to cry. No, I'm not. Okay. She's going to cry, guys. She's emotional. It was amazing. I was so happy for her that she got that standing ovation. And the way she held on to Anthony Anderson, he was so sweet. I know. She was with Anthony Anderson at that point? He, he, no. I, who was she with? Because she was holding on to his arm. Was it Anthony? He Maybe was it was. It was so out. long ago to remember. But yeah, it's, well. I know. I know. It's, it's hard to see. For me, it's really wild that her and Selma Blair both have MS. And that they were in that movie, The Sweetest Thing, which I, was like one of my favorite movies. I remember. That was a great movie. It was a great movie. So um, really wild. And for anyone that doesn't know, I have MS. So this really hit home for us. And we love Christina Applegate. We do. Um, and I don't want to go so deep in the Emmys because it's old news, but I do want to say the reunions for that show were so great. Can we discuss the Ally McBeal moment? Yes. How great did Calista Flockhart look? A mi- I, I see. I went, wow, she's the only one I know that probably had work, but doesn't look like she had work. Unbelievable. Can you tell everyone the story about when you <laughs> saw Calista Flockhart and Harrison Ford? Tell me, tell me this story. Let's let this is a really great story. Okay, so twelve years ago? It was, no, it was thirteen it was, years ago. It was two thousand ten. Yeah. So like thirteen years yeah. ago. Uh, Marnie had back surgery. In, in California. In California, in uh, Marina, Marina Del, Del Rey, Rey. <laughs> with a very fancy schmancy doctor. And it was like, at night, I was sitting there in the waiting room, waiting for this to be over. And who starts knocking on the door? Because I guess they closed the door after a certain point. It was getting late. Harrison Ford. I jumped <laughs> over the table <laughs> when I saw him. Remember, it was 13 years ago. He looked a hell of a lot better. Ah. I jumped over the table to let him in, and he was very lovely. He doesn't know who I am. He thought I worked there. <laughs> of course he doesn't know who you are, Mom. <laughs> well, no, I meant, you know, <laughs> he didn't realize I was in the waiting room. And he goes to visit. Callista was there, I think, for her mother. And uh, it was really like a moment for me. <laughs> Did you see Callista? I saw her for a split second, yes. Was there any conversation between you and Harrison? Other than thank you, hello, no. (laughs) Do you remember how Callista looked? Did she look as good as she looked at the Emmys? Well, remember she had no makeup on. She wasn't dressed properly. I'm not properly. She was there to be there for her mother. Right, right, right. But she looked pretty good. That is, when this moment happened 13 years ago, I don't remember, I'm like getting rolled out of surgery and that's all Felicia could talk about. She's like, Harrison Ford and Calista Flocker are here. And I never said to Marnie, how are you feeling? Because there were other <laughs> things that were more important. So I think Calista's mom was like next to me or something. So that was a great moment. That so was. we, I did love that reunion moment. I thought the reunions were great. I think they should take, like all these awards should take a note. It was great. It was the game. Who did you think was the best dressed? Who's the girl? I loved her uh, from Bear, the one who plays his sous chef. The black 
Yeah, she, Mom Felicia there. She goes in and she whispers, the black girl. Uh, yeah, I know, right? She's so She's sweet. amazing. She's, She's amazing. amazing. Yeah. I actually loved Jessica Chastain's look and Camilla Marone. And Camilla Marone is from Daisy Jones. And Jessica Chastain with this like long red hair and this like neon green. I don't know. I just really loved it. So I think that, I always get her mixed up with. Um, I know, Amy Adams, right? N- no. The other redhead. Who? It has to be Amy. Who? Oh, God. Who was in. Uh, you're blank or black? Um, fla- blank. Okay, I'm come blank. on, mom. That's okay that you're okay. blank. Okay, I'm a blank. I'm Red ha- who do you confuse her with? Think about it. It's got to be Amy Adams. She's closing her eyes and she's meditating. And now you're getting me more nervous. And now Can she's we nervous. come back to that? We'll come back. Up. Don't worry. It'll, it'll come. It'll come back. So now is for our moment of <laughs> news. <laughs> Felicia, you could laugh. It's okay to laugh. Like, let it out. I know, it's very funny. So that's why we're wearing headphones, Mom. So we could hear the sound effects, and it doesn't bleed onto the mics. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Now I understand. Now you understand. Thank you. Because she was very confused, like, why are we wearing headphones? I was like, I'll tell you when we record. I'll tell you when we record. So that's why. So a few things that are noteworthy. Were you loved... Top Gun. Like, did you love Top Gun, Maverick? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Top Gun 3. I heard. Is in the works. I heard from... I don't want to mention names. You can mention the name. Well, she might, Nina, who does my nails. Great. Love Nina from the nail salon. Why does Nina from nails know that Top Gun 3 is in the works? She listens also, and I gave her the information about the podcast, but I haven't spoken to her <laughs> since, so we'll see if she even listened to it. Okay, that's okay. You can mention names. You don't have to mention last names. So that was your source. You could always use the word source uh, if you don't want to mention a name. Okay. Not that it's a bad thing. It's I mean, not a just, bad thing. You know. I'm very excited about Top Gun 3. Are you? Yes. Well, who's in it? Well, you know, is Tom Cruise going to be in it? We don't know, but it's going to be probably Miles Teller. Oh, I love. I know. It's going to be the dudes that were in the, the Maverick one. one. Because- What was the other one? It Was it Glenn? Was it Glenn, was Glenn it, Powell? Yeah. Was he in Top Gun too? Yes. So there you go. Yes. They'll yes. probably be back. Tom Cruise is going to need a wheelchair soon to get out. He's getting too old. Mom, but, here we go. Let's uh, do I'm a sorry. rant on Tom Cruise. Five, six, seven, go. He doesn't look as good. He's not aging well. Now, obviously, when you see him on TV or movie, he's all made up and, you know, whatever they do in the movies to make you look fabulous. But when you see him sometimes, he just When do you see look, him? Just Like, I when are you seeing him? You see him at Starbucks? Like, where, do you, where are you no, seeing I Tom see him Cruise? I Starbucks. <laughs> Felicia doesn't go to Starbucks. Where are you seeing him? I see him at Starbucks in Plainview. <laughs> where are you seeing Tom? <laughs> How old is he? How old do you think he is? 60-something. I, I mean, I think he looks pretty good. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I mean, Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise. Yeah, you know? but I do enjoy very much when men don't age as well as women because we all think women do not age as well as men. Men, right. But sometimes I see some men and I go, geez, what happened? Well, you clearly feel that way about Leo. Right. Yeah, Tom is, Tom is 61. Oh, so very I was, close. I was very close. Very close. Yes. Like we can, you know why? Why? Because whenever I hear somebody's age, I go, oh, they're 10 years older than me, or oh, they're 13, or not, whatever. So, so he's got like what? He's he's a little, he's like a well, t- I'm, 12 years younger than yes. you? All right. N- yeah. yeah. I mean, we could go down the list of men that aren't aging, Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> let's, let's, <laughs> let's not talk about that. But anymore. let's talk about how great uh, George Clooney is aging. That, that man could do no wrong. Do you think Brad Pitt's aging well? I would say so. He just it looks scraggly with the hair, but that's that's a whole you know. I mean, that yeah, could be for a role. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Um, White Lotus still dropping names. Are you aware of that? No, like more people. No, Patrick Schwarzenegger. Really? I know. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, we got we got. He's that's very, great. Oh, he's very cute. But who yes. knows what's going to happen when he gets old? You're well, going to really be, you're going to badge dead. him. I'll be dead by that time. You keep saying you're going to be dead. <gasps> well, Felicia, you got to live forever. Yeah, okay. I don't want to think about that. Do you know who Walt, Walton Goggins is? He was in a bunch of stuff. He was in uh, Righteous Gemstones. Like a lot of people are big fans of his. Okay. But White Lotus is just dropping casting news every week. And I just keep thinking, this is going to be a really large cast. Oh, and I'm definitely going to make it my business to watch it when or close to when it comes out or either I'll get to season two and then jump. Well, if one has nothing to do with no, another. No, but you should watch season two like sooner than later. Yeah, I agree. I mean, look, you saw Jennifer Coolidge. She won the Emmy. Right, she's hysterical. And she even brought up the gays in her Emmy speech. And I told you, you would love season two right. because of all the gays. And she thanked the evil gays. Did you catch that? Yes, I did. I obviously didn't understand why she said evil, but it's obviously <laughs> because of White Lotus. I When I saw White Lotus season two, I kept thinking like, 
me and Felicia, like if we were to go on vacation, like without our partners, like let's say I went on a vacation with you without my husband and we met a bunch of gays, we would have the, the best, time the best of time. our lives. As we usually do. As we usually do. Like right. Felicia and I went to Spain together. We've traveled alone together. We went to London together. But put us in a room with a bunch of gay men and we would have been Jennifer Coolidge. I would have been like, yeah, let's leave the resort. Let's go on the yacht, right? Absolutely. We would have never thought twice about it. Not even, mm. right. Yeah. In a heartbeat. Uh, let's discuss, and I, I know I wanted you to see it, the J-Lo trailer. Oh, right. And what I did see it. the fuck? Okay, so here's my unprofessional opinion. My, you are professional. What, what, no, I'm not. You are. When I first saw it, which I did see before you sent it to me, and I didn't realize you were talking about the same one. Okay. In my mind, and I know that's what they wanted, you're saying to yourself, is this for an album or is this for a movie she's doing? I felt it was very confusing, but that's what they wanted because they, then you're talking about it. I think they don't want you to be confused. I think it's hers. It's her like, I know you might not know this reference, Beyonce's Lemonade. Yes, I do. That was a musical experience. That was like a film. Beyonce did two of them. So do you think this is like- This is her musical experience. It's her way to get the songs out for the for this new album. I But she's trying to be all like- Wouldn't it be something if it really was for a movie? Boy, no, you- it's 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 a it's going to be a, a movie, movie musical experience on Prime Video in February sixteenth, and you bet your ass I will be watching it. But guess who makes some appearances in it? I would imagine Ben. Ben Affleck. Oh, ben Affleck is listed as a co writer and is featured in some of the scenes. It's it's a movie. Yeah, okay. But it's a, but it's movie, a movie with about music, the music and dance. So there's but real- also she's like making it sci fi, and then like all of a sudden she's like an action star. I just feel like. Is she like vomiting too many genres into one thing? Maybe, and I guess we'll find out in a month. Will you watch it? Yeah, you'll watch it. I will. Okay. Okay. All right. Great. I love that. I like J Lo. I like to. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. She's aging well. Absolutely. What do you do? You think she's had work done? Doesn't matter. But if because whoever she's using, I would fabulous. Yeah, I think she's perfect. Yeah, she is fucking perfect. All right. Top top lines, Felicia. Circumcised gems. Circumcised gems. <laughs> God, we have sound effects now. We do have sound effects now. So I, before we get into your shit, I just want to give praise to, I started the Traders on Peacock. I don't think you did the Traders. I, you don't got time for that. I don't. <laughs> and I've been home for the past two or three days. Just it's too cold for you to get out. Absolutely. Which is why this morning when I had to get up early. And get out. It was like, oh, I wouldn't get out for anybody except Marnie Ellis. And and <laughs> you would have stayed in bed all day watching something. Absolutely. If not in bed, then on the couch. But I'm always in my jammies. <laughs> <laughs> so the traitors is so ridiculous. But you have to like accept the ridiculousness. And it's entertaining and it's enjoyable. Alan Cummings is a riot. Well, he's a lot. I love him. I mean. You love him. Yeah, I interviewed him great. once. We should get that footage and somehow drop it because that would be fucking hilarious. It was the time that my brother pretended to be a cameraman and mid, we were on the, um, in a, at a fashion show, Cynthia Riley's fashion show in like 2005, got a camera from VH1. I pretended to be like a VH1 host and interviewed Alan Cummings and Molly Shannon and Scarlett Johansson. And like midway through, Craig was like, I think the camera's out of focus. And I was like, mother. Fucker. But Cummings, he was nice. He wasn't that nice, but well, he was okay. But he's great in the show. Yes. The wardrobe is great, but the the it's like a plethora of reality people. But I want to know if you've ever watched Bling Empire oh, on Netflix. You know what, Did I've you ever, watch no, that? I, I, Bling Empire, is it the Indian, Indian or Dubai? One of the other. Well, is the it from Bling, India? No, Bling Empire, I want to say, is like Asians, Koreans. Right? Mm, I guess I didn't watch it. Yeah. So there's a guy from Bling Empire on it who's very handsome. And I was like, oh, you would love that. Okay. I'll but you didn't watch check. it. No, no. I am like full deep into Traders. What's also wild about Traders is Larsa Pippen. She's, she was a housewife and she was married to Scott Pippen. Ron Howard. What the fuck? Ron is Howard's, this? Oh, wait, God. wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Ron Howard's daughter. Bryce Dallas Howard. She, she, I get her mixed up with Jessica Chastain. Okay. Um, that just Way to bring note, it I'm back. Sorry. It came to Felicia. <laughs> I told you it was it's in like, a second. It's like you took a big shit and you feel better now. <laughs> 
I could see it on your face. You're like relieved. I was relieved because the light bulb went on in my okay. head. It's Did like taking a... See all right. So Bryce Dallas Howard reminds you of Jessica Chastain yes. and Amy Adams. You could put them in well, the redhead yes, yes, red yes, yes. clan. Yes. Can we go back to Larsa for a second? Yes. Do you know of Larsa Pippen? The name sounds very she familiar. Was like, she's like friends with, I feel like, uh, Jen, Chris Jenner and like... All those women, and she was married to Scott Pippen. I was about to say, is that his daughter? Or no, no. he was okay. married to Scott Pippen, oh. who was on the Bulls with Michael Jordan. Uh, this was like, yes, that I know. Okay, but this is what's wild. She's dating now Michael Jordan's son, and I think that's still fucked up because Michael Jordan and Scott Pippen are now on the outs. There's a feud. I think Scott was mad that he didn't get some fucking credit in his documentary, The Last Dance. She is dating his son. Marcus Jordan, and I th- think it is so wild that B- Michael must be cringing, and Scott must be cringing. It's maybe, such a cringy moment. Maybe they're both on the show. The I, traders, they're both on it. Larsa okay. and her boyfriend. Listen to me. Maybe they really are talking, and it's a setup. Oh, you think Scott and Michael are talking? Absolutely. If there's any man listening to this podcast, please write us and let us know if you think they're talking. I think I, I don't think, think they're talking. But this was a while ago, the two of them, between Michael Jordan and Scott Pippen. But I think there's a new feud since that documentary came out. He oh. wasn't happy with how the doc came out. Well. I just thought this was like such a fascinating thing. I'm I'm intrigued. Okay. I'm intrigued. Um, some other top liners. What did you watch this week? Well, I watched a British show. Well, it's British. It's made. In, I'm assuming it's a British cast. It's Harlan Corbin. Oh, we discussed it's this last called week. Fool Me Once. Fool Me Once. Number one on Netflix. Yes. Tell us. I happen to like Harlan Corbin, and I usually try to watch when they come out on Netflix, you know, books or whatever. This was great because I like them, and it's also a mystery and like a whodunit and mystery type of thing, which, you know, I would see if I could. How many episodes? And tell me right now. Did you finish the whole fucking I, thing? Yeah, of, of course, course I did. Of course you did. But it's not that, I mean, eight episodes, it wasn't like crazy, better than 16. Was it good? Like, should people watch it? Yeah, it's very good if you like that genre. You know, were, mystery. Were there any did, actors in it that are recognizable? No, but not to me. I mean, it was a British cast, but I, I didn't even- It was even, all British cast. I think, I'm 99.9% sure it was. Did you watch Prison Brides? No, but my friend did. And? She loved it. I got to tell you, I tuned into episode two, and I'm in. It is such a train wreck seeing these, every single one of these women, I don't know why, has fake lips and major lip injectors. And now I'm realizing they're all probably super insecure, which is why they have prison pen pals and why they're marrying somebody that's still in jail for 50 years. <laughs> oh God. I wonder if they get any money from the guy who's in jail. Well, I mean, does, you, I, oh. I, I don't know. I'm thinking she's sending him money. Don't you think? What does he need money for? The commissary? Uh, yes. <laughs> How much could he possibly he, need? Don't the men in prison like trade shit and like drugs under the table? I haven't and, been in prison lately, so I don't but know. But you've watched enough shows to know. That they need money in jail. They do, but they need other things too. I do believe that maybe she's sending him money. I feel like these girls are so dumb. So dumb. I know you, but but I'm in. I'm intrigued. Now, I started a new show this week, Mom. Cool. I started. It's called True Detective. Oh yes, with this uh, season Jody is Jodie Foster. Foster. Yeah, Jodie Foster. I had a friend who uh, who who messaged me. He's like, "You got to watch this. It's amazing, Andre." And um. I, I didn't like love it, but there's great acting in it. There's woman from Killing Eve in it. I'll I'll stick with it. I we did True Detective, I believe, season one and season two. You know, the OG with Woody Harrelson and Matthew McConaughey was yeah, that so was a good fucking one. good. Yeah. I'm wondering, you may like this because there's a little weirdness, like sci-fi moments. You tell everybody how much you love a good sci-fi situation. Love a good sci-fi situation, whether it's space, underwater, a catastrophe <laughs> that I love the a catastrophe. Earth, the, the earth just shuts down. Right, which is why you loved Leave the World Behind, which really Roberts. I, lo- I fucking up, yes, love, I that loved it. I we loved love that movie. We love that movie on yes. Netflix if yeah. you haven't seen it. And you it was love a catastrophe. Scary because it seems so real. Well, because we're living it. Well, yeah. We're living like the idea kind of like, the world yes, shutting down. Yes, yes, but yes. I, when I remember growing up, you loved, I think you always watched Star Trek. Always watch Star Trek. So I think you might enjoy this true detective. Does it take place in Alaska? It does. And is it about. An indigenous. There is an indigenous. There is. There is it's an usually indigenous. a woman who got killed, and how, nobody pays attention. How do you know this? Because that's the Felicia. Sta- you should have been like a network uh, executive. Because right, that's the standard. Any time it's any time the show is taking place in, in Alaska, Alaska, and it's a crime show. Yeah. What else are crime shows that take place there in was, Alaska? There was a few others. Like what? Like what? Was it like a Law and Order episode? No. 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 
No, Lauren no? Order. No, Lauren Order is either New York, New Jersey, or Philly. Did you watch Lauren Order this week? I watched all my Lauren Orders. Yes, I think it's time for Lauren Order standby. <laughs> Mom. Tell us everything about Law and Order this week. I hate to say I'm not a Law and Order person. No, you I mean, never I like, have been. I know, but I like Mariska. I think like if, and I love, what's the guy what from White Hot Ameri- What's it- the guy from White Hot American Summer I fucking love? The hot one from White Hot American Summer. The older one? Like, what's his name? Who's in Law and Order? The tall guy. He's in everything. Mom, you know who the guy is. I, ha- I have to have their- You know who the guy is. It doesn't matter. That will come Chris, to me. Chris. Chris, it'll come to me. Chris Maloney. That's it. Yes. <laughs> I do like him. A lot. Is he still on? Yeah. All right. All right. First of all, there are three different ones. Tell me. There's Law and Order, Mm -hmm. which is one show. Mm -hmm. Then the second show is Law and Order SVU. Yes. And then the one with Chris is Law and Order, like, Mafia, you know, like he's under, he's not in it. I mean, he's not mafia, but he's always going. He's like the detective in that. In that, it's just he's in a special. Was he in the original and then got a spinoff? Yeah. You watched all three. Yes. And this was Thursday night? Yes. That's yeah? three hours of my, of my life. Three hours of your life. That's okay. Yeah. So okay. What, what, talk to me. Like, are they good? Or like, I always enjoy them because, you know, it's like they take it supposedly from real life. I mean, the headlines. Oh. And there are some that are very topical. Like, Oh, give me an example. I love that. Like cyber stalking or like paparazzi. What Israel else? and Palestine. Really? Yeah. Yes. Lisha, you don't have to whisper. We, we're have, all here for you. I forgot which one it was. The first they, one. They mentioned Israel oh, and Palestine. Oh, there's a whole show about it. Like, like a Somebody protest? Got killed. Protest. Uh, 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 professor. I don't want to, I mean, I don't want to give it away if anybody. Eh. Uh, all right. Spoiler, spoiler, Spo- spoiler. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's about a professor who got murdered because he was trying to shut, he was, he's supposedly a president of a college, mm. university. Mm-hmm. Very sound, you know. That's, Harvard. <laughs> Columbia, okay. UPenn, I think. Yeah. And anyway, and he they got have murdered. To, they have to find out. They know why. They just have to find out who, who did it. And of course, they did. But it's kind of leaves you leaves you up in the air. Let of, me. Yeah. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. Is Law and Order one of those things where I can just tune in for one Absolute, episode? Yes. And what I like about it is every year they have like sometimes different um, police. Guys, new people coming on. Other than Mariska, who's been there forever, rightly so, and a few other people, but they have new actors coming in every season. Yeah, can continue. As they do with all the Chicago. <laughs> That's a great segue. Yes. Talk to me, what is the difference between the Law and Orders and the Chicago's? Well, Chicago, obviously Chicago. <laughs> Why and do you think it, Chicago's getting, like, are all these shows basic? Chicago's like, what, the highest crime city? Like, what's the deal? Oh, I don't, I don't think that's it. It's just they had to get out of New York for a little bit. I think it's the same. Oh, the same producers? Yeah. Let's give it a minute for our Windy City segment. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? So that tune was a song by Chicago. Oh, right. Okay. And then I, you did yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. I got it. And then we decided to add some gunshots to make it, you know, snazzy right. a la Chicago. Tell right. us all the Chicago's you watched this week. Medical, fire, police. Is all it three. Chicago PD? Chicago. Well, the first is Chicago Medical. Chicago, Chicago Med. Fire, Chicago, Chicago Fire. Med, yes, Chicago Fire, and Chicago PD. PD. And right. Chicago Fire was the first of its kind. Yes. I think so. It was. With S- Taylor, Taylor. Who used who, to date Lady Gaga. Yes. And is he back? Because I know he has He's to take back. a break. Yes, he took a break, but I think, and again, I know nothing about this, he might have taken a break because he had to go to rehab. However, I could be making that up. Allegedly, and I don't, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. We'll let right. our lawyers know. Don't worry. Right. But he came back now. What do you like better, the Chicago's or the Law and Order? Ooh, different cities. I just like seeing different cities and different actors. Is Steve from Sex and the City still yes. in Chicago Fire? Yes. I love oh, him. Oh, I love him too. He's still terrific. I love him. Yes, I'm so glad him. he's just a working actor. I he's really got a great am, career. Yeah, good for him, a working actor. Yeah, like if I were to be an actor, that's the type of I mean, you don't want to watch. be like a movie star because just then you're a working star. actor. Yeah. I saw him on the just, subway once. Yeah, just gave him a nod. Yeah, just a working actor. He could pay the bills. Right. I'm sure he's living a fine life. I'm Great sure he life. Is. Yeah. Is he Good married? That I don't know. So he's still on it. Yes. Chicago Fire's been on for a while. Yes. Like yes. years. Yes. yes. Um, 
So you watch, do they ever have crossovers with each other? Yeah, well, not Chicago and uh, yeah, not oh, Chicago. No, 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 no actually, like sh- I'm wrong. You're kidding. They, not, I mean, they did it probably last year or the year before. They do sometimes do. Mariska Hargitay sometimes does a crossover with Chicago PD. Really? Yeah, it's really good. You're blowing my mind. Yeah, I don't know. So this is all on NBC or ABC? Yeah, NBC. It, NB- I NBC. Didn't realize. And it's the same writer or the same producer. Right, right. And for the life of me, I can't. it's kind of like how Grey sometimes does a crossover with Station. Yes, but Station is done. I don't yeah, know if you know that. I do yeah. know that. And when is yeah. Grey's going to be done? I hope never. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, the, you're talking about it's all Dick Wolf. You're, the, all the Dick Chicago's Wolf. and the Law and Orders. Yes, are all Dick Wolf. yes, yes. Like Friends crime. do all the Chicago's and all the Law and Orders. Like, do you girls discuss it over no. Mahjong? No. no. What do you discuss over Mahjong? Well, I'm new to the game, so I have to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to bother the girls. Do they know you watch Korea content? Not these girls, no. Let me ask you a question. With all of you, had a lot of shows you watched this week. Well, I mean, with all the Law and Orders and, and the Chicago's, the Chicago's, and so did you have time for Korean content this week? A f- yeah, yeah. Well, a let's few. put the timer on then. Okay, let's give you the the uh, the Korean minutes. <laughs> what, mom? What'd you say? <laughs> You can't whisper. What did you say? I said, I wish you wouldn't do those, that. <laughs> <laughs> the side effect. The, the, uh, is that a side effect? No, what is it's it a called? sound the effect? The sound effect. I'm sorry. Well, you can blame your son-in-law. He's really pushing for the sound effects. <laughs> Obviously, as he's sitting in the chair, laughing his sides <laughs> off. He can't control himself. Let's just hear that one more time. <laughs> I don't know if that's insulting or I don't know. It's, I know. We're on the fence about oh it. Oh, God. Okay. But um, I'm going to put the timer on and three, two. Well, I started something new called A Shop for Killers. It's on Disney slash Hulu. I always find it on Hulu. It was just released. It's 16 episodes. So I've only watched about, I think they released two or three of them. Um, I, hap- I, ca- I, ca- I happen to love the main lead. I can't tell you his name because I can't remember their names and I can't pronounce their names. But I love him. But in on all the Instagram posts, they call him Wookie. But it, it's his name is Bup Bup Wook Wook, and they just call him Wookie. But he's really cute. And I watched another show called My Man is Cupid, and that's on Prime. Um, yeah, I, I didn't, and then I caught, kind of caught, catch up on what I've been watching because they only released two shows a weekend. So I catch two and then I go have to wait for the next week. And again, it's usually 16 episodes because I won't get invested. If it says 30 or 40 episodes, you know me, I'll go right to the end. Time's up, mom. You did great. You did really, really great. I'm very impressed. I don't know how you have the time to do all of what you do. Well, I don't go food shopping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm living in the apartment alone, and I have nothing but time. Do you ever invite a friend over to watch something with you? Um, I told my friend to watch Saltburn. I think she's I told, dying. She's dying I, to talk Saltburn. I, to, I, I told, her, to talk I told her to not watch it with her husband. All right, let's get into uh, our uncircumcised gems. <laughs> It's got to be Saltburn for Uncircumcised Gems, obviously. That, obviously, and it's very pro- appropriate. So everybody is talking Saltburn right now. It's a perfect timing because Hadi is hosting SNL tonight, Jacob Elrodi. Who is from Australia. Did you know that? I don't know if I knew. Yeah, I think yes, so. Because he he's, he's in euphoria. He's 6'5". Mm, how do you know he's 6'5"? Because they, he was on Jimmy Fallon, and I made it my business to watch that segment. And how was it? it was, was he talking good. about Saltburn? Yeah. And I kept thinking, how are they going to show a clip of this? Well, there's because not there was, penis everywhere, Mom. Well, no, but there's a lot of other stuff, um, like the bathtub with the... What did you think of that bathtub? Oh, so, oh, wait. So let's just give a big uh, alert that we're going to do some spoilers here. If you haven't watched Saltburn, fast forward. Go, right. Felicia, the bathtub scene. I kept... Well, that's one of them. I kept thinking after the show, after I watched it, and I, this is like soft porn. It did have a soft porn. Would you say like... Soft porn, like a late night programming on HBO back in the day? No. Soft porn? No, no. But I thought it was very similar in the effect of talented Mr. Ripley. Did Was there sex, a lot of sex in that movie? I don't, probably not at that time. That's one with Matt Damon. Yes, but he kind of like comes on 
and they think he's one thing and he's not, which is what it was in Saltburn. In Saltburn, right. Right, right. He uh, was very calculating. That guy was, who was Barry that guy? Barry Colgan. He was in the movie that was, he it was a big movie, uh, I think it was 2022, The Banshees of Insurance. I couldn't even watch oh, it. It was an, Ir- an Irish, Irish movie with Colin yeah. Fer- Farrell. I couldn't get through that movie. It was so fucking boring for yeah, me. It looked, it looked but he's boring. obviously it having his moment. Did you think he was, uh, some of the reviews are saying he was too old for the part. Like a, a school kid. A, well, they're supposed to be in school. Co- college. Right. Jacob yeah. looks like he's in college. I don't think Barry looks like he's in college, but who fucking cares? Because he's gorgeous naked. Who? Barry. The guy, the oh, main guy. Yeah, oh, yeah, she's, yeah, no? Yeah, no? Yeah, yeah, he's short. I, I guess Who cares? I, I like a tall guy. <laughs> yeah, but his penis wasn't short. Well, we'll get was, into the that, penis. We'll yeah, get into the penis. Yeah, yeah. I just want to say, you know who wrote and directed this film? It was Emerald, uh, that woman, Emerald Fennell, who was Camilla in The Crown a bunch of years ago. She wrote ago. it? She wrote it. She directed it. How did she have, and I mean- She was the showrunner of Killing Eve, and she wrote and directed Promising Young Women with Carrie Mulligan. Aha. Uh-huh. So she's, she's a really weird. And guess what? This is this is a really great fact. Guess what A list celebrity right now who's having a real moment produced Promising Young Woman and Saltburn. Can you guess? No. Margot Robbie. Good for her. She is fucking she's blowing She's up. all Good about the female director. Good for her. So Margot is just getting I, right I, on this. I would have never guessed that a female wrote that. Uh, ever. Ever, ever, She's got ever. like a little sick twist in mind. A little, yeah. So you told your, so would you recommend Saltburn? Like, would you, were you like, this no, is great? No, I, 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 I told my friend who lives in the building with, you know, in my building, apartment house, uh, about it. I don't know if she watched it or not. You told her not to watch it no, with I, her husband. Well, I thought she might be uncomfortable. Or he might be uncomfortable. So you think it's, it's a better bit uncomfortable. To, for a person to watch this movie by themselves? I guess it depends on your relationship. I mean, I would have felt uncomfortable watching with daddy. Mm. Even though we, daddy and I watched a lot of things together. He liked Queer as Folk, believe it or not. Do you remember me telling you that? Yes. Of course. But, you know, he watched downstairs. I watched upstairs. Yeah. But I get that. Yeah, you Can know. Can you imagine if you both watched Flopper at the same time but in different rooms? <laughs> that yeah. maybe, yeah. I, I would be really uncomfortable watching it with a teenage child. Well, I don't think t- I don't think any teenage child should be watching Saltburn. I bet they are. I'm sure they are nowadays. Everyone's watching everything. Right. So I, I when I watched Saltburn, I was like, damn, like- I was intrigued. I'd probably watch it again now that I've had like a month, you know, to to let it marinate. To think about it. Yeah. But that end scene, that end scene with this number. Murder on the Dance Floor. floor. Do you remember this song? Yes. Do you remember this song being like huge in 2001? Not really. This was a this was a huge song in college. Who did it? I think it's Sophie Baxter. Murder on the Dance Floor. Is having a comeback now because of Saltburn, like Kate Bush's running up that hill because of Stranger Things. And I love that. Like, if a song is in a movie and the song came out 20 years ago, it, it's it's the stream. It's, she's making more money now. Yeah. Murder absolutely. on the Dance Floor is having such a TikTok moment as well. Oh, it's back. Okay, I'll have to check my TikTok. You should. I get into a TikTok black hole. I, I get know. lost for so two just hours. Just search Saltburn Murder on the Dance Floor. I will. I mean, when you saw that last scene with him, spoiler, running around naked, what, yes. did, what were you thinking? When are they going to show a frontal? And they do it very quickly. You what know. do you mean, when are they going to show a frontal? In other words, they don't really show like a full-on frontal. They kind of show a side. Oh, at first, you're getting, some, you're getting some like profile shots, and yes. then you see full-blown penis. Well, you see it even the side because he right. obviously is very well endowed. Very. 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 I mean, that wasn't a prosthetic. It wasn't. You asked me last week. Oh, it was okay. It was real. I read something, heard something, an interview with Hard him. to tell if he was circumcised. It wasn't that close up. Wow. I love the way you're bringing it back to the gems, mom. Way to bring it back to the gems. <laughs> Felicia, you could laugh. Why is my laugh the only laugh coming know. through? I don't know. Because you, you don't have, have to good, stay silent. You have a good laugh. Am I? Your laugh is great. I forget. Laugh. Let it out, Felicia. I can't. Let it out. Oh God, stop. His penis is great. His penis was wonderful. And I think that last scene, like for me, made the movie. Yeah. I mean, it he did. Just, I just thought it was so fun. I, I mean, if I'm giving a spoiler alert, he just- Destroyed everything. Everybody. Everything <laughs> yeah. and everybody. He just knocked them all out of the park. I know. I mean, so calculating, so deceiving. She, the writer, yeah, she's, 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 a, how you she's think, a vibe. I don't even understand well, did how you, you s- think of some of that stuff. Did you like see Promising best? Young Woman with Carrie Mulligan? Because that's also fucked up. Oh, no, I didn't. It's like kind of like a revenge story. Carrie, and by the way, Love Carrie it. Mulligan was in Saltburn. Remember? She was like 
in the family. She was in like a minute. Oh, no, then I probably was so, probably she was so in quick. It and she had like a really crazy hair. Hair and, and yeah. So Don't you got to remember, remember there, she's bringing it back to the people that she likes. Good for like her. Mike White. That, I love that's that. That's good. That's good. So, um, and I think Jacob, I wonder how Jacob, by the way, Jacob is hosting and Renee Rapp is the musical guest from Mean Girls. Yes. So I'm very I'm, excited I'm, for this I'm tape, Well, I'll watch it. Yes, I have it on tape, you know, DVR rather. So if I if I fall asleep tonight, I'll get to watch it tomorrow. And just for the record, because a lot of people ask me like, how do you watch Saturday Night Live? You stay up that late? If I'm up on a Saturday night, I'm not home. If I'm up on a Saturday night, I'm at a concert, I'm in the city, I'm clubbing with my friends. I don't club. That is a joke. I don't do that anymore. <sighs> So what I do is I record SNL, I wake up Sunday, and I have a tradition. I watch Saturday Night Live, and then I watch CBS Sunday Morning News while I fill the laundry. And if I can't do those things, I'm off my game. I love doing both of those things on Sunday mornings. I don't blame you. And people that say, oh, Saturday Night Live is not good anymore, I don't fucking care. I like watching it. I like what's seeing topical. I like Weekend Update. I will always watch it. Um, And I've been watching it longer than you have. Of course, Mom, because you're older than me. Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> Felicia, it's time for it, Bye Felicia. It's for our, our last segment. That went really fast. Wow. I know. Because we're not allowed to talk during the week. We're not allowed to talk during the she week. She shuts about- me down the minute I say, oh, well, let me talk to you about. Because, oh, oh, save, save it. it. Save it. But we have other things to talk about. Yes. I don't know about what, but we do. Um, so, Felicia, I have a homework for you. Felicia is staying in my house today because it's so cold. Why go back to Plainview? Why don't you watch so we could discuss next week poor things? With Emma Stone. I will give it a shot. I don't think you're... I'm just warning you. The first 20 minutes are really weird. I was going to turn it off and just fucking stick with it. I think she's going to win an Oscar. I hope she wins the Oscar. She's I having will, such a fucking moment. I will give her... Yeah, she's Poor great. Things was my favorite movie of the year. I'm saying that right now. But I did not do Killers of the Flower Moon, which I'm probably going to download and watch on the plane I, I, this week because it's three and a fucking half hours long. Again, about an indigenous... I know. I know. I know. Lily Gladstone also well, having a moment. it's not just about her. It's about... You right. Know. And in True Detective, it's not just about an indigenous woman. It's about a lot of other things as well. Good. I'll watch okay. it. Okay. Um, so you're going to watch Poor Things. Uh, we've got some things coming up this week. I want to give a shout out to Raising Spirit with Teresa Caputo. Airs Thursday on Lifetime. Shout out to my crew of Long Island Medium and my girl Teresa, who I always adore. Um, also coming out on Thursday is Sofia Vergaro show, Grisalda. Will yes. you watch that? I will try to watch it, yes. I mean, she plays a really tough character. I know. She's like she's a drug a mob cartel well, mob wife. Yeah, mob wife? No, or no, she's not a, drug no, cartel. She is, she is the head of the drug cartel in Colombia. She might go to Miami afterwards, but... Did you see her segment on CBS Sunday Morning News? Yes. It was good. It was. I mean, she really... Well, is, she's pushing... You know, she's obviously talking about... Oh, is she a producer on it? No, but she's in it, so... I know, well, she's you know, in I don't it. know if she's a producer. Maybe she is. We'll see that when the credits run. I feel like she was really trying hard to obviously, like, break away and get another role. As she should. Um. So I... Maybe I'll watch that. Um. Another movie that's dropping this weekend that I definitely... I'll probably download and watch on the plane as well this week. Dumb Money... With Paul Dano, Seth Rogen, and your favorite Pete Davidson. This shit's not for you. No, it's this, not. So, so me, my old work crew. I know it's 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 like I love this genre. We made it up at my old work crew. Shout out to Dan Brown. Rise the rise and fall, like of? the rise and fall of like the WeWorks, the rise and fall of the BlackBerry movie that I love, the rise and fall of the Ubers. Like I love these. I fucking this is, this cri- is about GameStop. Game. This is not about crypto. Okay. okay. I I love love movies about. Real stories How about the the, the the white men that go up and the and white men that, that come, come down. down. I don't know why yeah. I love it. I'm yeah. gonna watch it. I didn't get to see it in the theater, so I will be watching that. Felicia, well, you have, have you have a ton of shit I to watch. I love that Marnie is now giving me homework. Well, just what I love. Well, you're, she's lying. She's lying right now. Um, so yeah. Okay. Is there so, anything else you want to say? No, I think that's it. We covered a lot. We did cover a lot. Do you feel comfortable with the headphones now? Or are you like, Better. she doesn't like it? I don't Be- think. No, I mean, it's it's okay. Thanks for joining. I just want to remind everybody, please share, please share, please share. And mom, are you sharing with your friends? A few. Will you post this in the community board? Like, no. You, why? No. Why? Why don't you post it on the Facebook page of no, no, Plainview? No, no, I can't. No, why? I, I don't want anybody to know me. Like, I don't want anybody to have comments or to talk about me. I'm sorry. <laughs> My old, old friends friends who've known me for 45 years, they're the ones who are watching it because they know listening. me. and they're, they're listening, know, listening to it. Right. Because they know me and they know you. What do you think about people that are listening that don't know us? There's going to be some people that don't know us that listen. Mostly your friends. No. 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 My friends know me. There's, That's true. I just saw the stats. There's somebody in uh, Brazil and like there's somebody that, yeah, there's somebody in Germany that listen. Like, you, you, people but I don't listen know, but, all over the world. That's fine, but they, I don't they, know right, them. So you don't know and them. And I don't live with them. Because I moved no. in with 
Yes. Oh, that would have been lovely. I would have froze to death. I have to say one thing in regards to the Plainview community. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia.